Here we have a thumb drive coming from Mark, Texas. And this one is expedited. USB thumb drive not working. USB thumb drive not showing any data. Try to open but showing zero bytes. So the thumb drive is showing zero bytes, no files and no data. I went ahead and removed the chip of the housing, of the plastic housing. This is the type of flash drive where you have one micro USB connector on one end and a regular USB 3.0 socket on the other end. So you can plug this flash drive onto a computer or to a phone or tablet. Now, as soon as I remove this USB 3.0 socket that has the chip soldered on to the back, that micro USB connector fell right off. It's broken off the board. But we do not care about this micro USB connector. We care about what's going on here. This whole flash drive is nothing but a chip with the USB 3.0 socket soldered onto it. So I'm thinking maybe we have a bad connection between the socket pins and the chip itself. Right now what I'm going to do is desolder this USB 3.0 socket of the chip and we're going to use a USB 2.0 socket for wires VCC, D minus, D plus and ground and solder those wires onto that chip and see if we can extract data that way. Now I have a USB 3.0 socket that I converted to USB 2.0 by having four wires onto it. So we're going to attempt to solder those four wires onto the chip and see if we are able to read any files. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And just like that. I wanted to do it on this camera so you can see the whole picture of what goes on when desoldering this thin layer of that chip. The micro USB socket broke off this end. You can see ripped traces. But like I said, we do not care about the micro USB connector. And we're not going to go into fixing this because that's the least of our worries right now. What we're going to do is we're going to use the four pins that you see down on the bottom here and solder a USB 2.0 connector and try to extract data that way. The rest of the pins here are for USB 3.0, but we're not going to be using USB 3.0, we're just going to be using USB 2.0, and our goal is to extract data from this drive. So, where's the socket? Let me show you how the socket looks like. Right there. So five pins they solder on from the top and four pins they solder on from the bottom. And those four pins are USB 2.0. Let me apply some flux here. And we're going to prep the pads, apply solder. Fume extractor on. And let's see if we can do this. And finally, wire number four. So we have four wires soldered. Let's just go over them one more time. Okay. And Will that work? I soldered four wires onto that chip. Let me plug the drive onto the computer. I heard the tone. Computer recognized the drive. I do not see anything yet. Nothing came on the screen. I do not know if this drive is formatted for a Mac or if we should be able to read the files on a PC. Yeah, I do not see anything. Look at this. My antivirus just popped up and said external drive connected. Great. That's good news. So the computer is able to see that drive.
we just got a PS5 console that has been to two repair shops before it came here. And I told Big Boss, I'm going to find nightmares on this board. Hiroshima bombs all over the place. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I did not know if there was any work done on that board. And yes, I can tell there was work done because when you apply heat to this board, the copper will change color. Look at this. Okay, so the computer did recognize the drive, but we do not see any files. We do not see any files at all. Let me plug this to an iMac I have inside and see if the computer will recognize that chip. So let's go ahead and try this on a Mac. And by the way, we got seven video cards today. Seven video cards that came in for repair. I'll probably work on them in a future video. And we have a laptop that we just finished. It's coming from Jamaica. Jamaica, man. It's done, fixed. But the customer mailed us those three boards and he did not reference what's wrong with those boards or what those boards are for. So we sent him an email and we're gonna send it back to him. Nintendo Switch. Those, we need to invoice those customers here. This board came in yesterday. A lot of stuff for Big Boss to work on. And this is the PS5 that he took apart. Big Boss left, so everything is on his bench right now. And we have an iMac Pro that does not power on. I'm still trying to figure out what's wrong with this one. Already opened and the screen is right here. So we'll see. But for now, I want to test and see if we are able to read from this drive. Why is it that we always hold the USB the wrong way and we always have to flip it to make it go in? Why is it always like that? So yes, right there, we are able to see the drive. Double click and I see all the folders. Let me copy this folder, copy this one. It's copying rather fast, so I do not know if there's anything inside those folders. Look at this. And what about this one? Hey, let's open and see the folders that we copied. Are there files inside the folders? And yes, I do see files. And we open up, we cannot open up this file. And before, can we open up this file? Yes, this file we can open. What about this folder here? Yeah, I do see pictures. Look, look at this. I see a wrong picture here. And we were able to open that picture. So we are able to read from that drive. We are able to read, oh, what happened? Drive disconnected by itself. I mean, the chip is burning hot. There's nothing I can do beyond what I did because the whole drive is a chip and we cannot open up the chip and see what's going on inside. Plug it one more time. And we do see the folder. Replace. It does not look like it's going to copy. I think the flash drive is so hot to a point where it's unresponsive. Yeah, it's hot. Problem is from within the memory chip. I mean, 2,226 items inside that folder. And look at this. It disconnected. Oh, man. Okay. What can you do? What can you do? Bummer. Bummer. I really thought I had it. I really thought I had it. We plugged this drive or that chip onto an iMac and I was able to read from that drive. We read all the folders and I was able to read the files inside the folders. 
uh, I was able to successfully copy four folders onto the desktop. But when it came to that big folder that had 2,000 plus items in it, the drive froze and it disconnected. I felt the chip and it was extremely hot. I think what's happening is the chip itself is overheating and it's going unresponsive and disconnecting. So the drive is not giving me a chance to copy all the folders before it disconnects. There's nothing I can do as far as the chip itself goes. All the components are embedded within the chip and there are absolutely no components on front or back of the chip except for that one fuse, which is not the source of the problem because if the fuse was a source of the problem, then we will not be able to read anything from that drive. Right now, I do not know if overheating is what's causing this drive to disconnect. I think what I'm going to do is maybe take this drive home. I'll put an ice pack on that chip to keep it cool and see if we can copy folders that way. Maybe we got lucky, who knows, but I have to try it. If it's a success, I'll record on my cell phone and post it in the next video. But for now, there's nothing more I can do. And uh, I'm gonna end it right here, time to go home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.